Yep. Uh, so, how are you? Good. Good. Did you guys in that fourth quarter figure something out? Kind of looked like it stopped the insanity a little bit. It looked more like the defense we're used to. Was there anything yeah. that kind of clicked? And then what is what needs to kind of keep happening to see better defense moving forward? Yeah, we realized through that part of the game uh, in the fourth quarter, uh, we realized how important it was to us to finish that game. Um, at halftime, we figured it out, you know, what we was doing wrong. I mean, it's pretty simple. Um, what was what we was doing wrong and we just simplified the game plan and we just played body on body and just started making plays. So um, we sort of got it into halftime knowing what we was going to do to fix uh, the problem. What have you seen from Garrett Wilson on tape? Um, yeah, he's a he's a um, a playmaker. Um, he's their guy, um, the number one go to target. And uh, what I've seen, you know, they move him around a lot, um, specifically in positions for him to make plays, you know what I mean? Because that's what they want him to do. And um, he's very good after the catch, and he's a big playmaker for their team. What does Riley Moss bring to the defense? Riley Moss? Yeah. Oh, uh, man, he's just so poised out there. Um, he's smart. He can move well. Um, he's another added piece that um, we'll see get significant reps, out, obviously, out there on the field. Uh, so that helps a lot when you can get a younger guy out there getting some reps. And, um, you know, the sky's the limit for him, you know what I mean? Um, each and every day, he's just trying to learn, get better, and grow. And that's the best thing about him. But Zach Wilson, he looked like he played maybe his best game yeah. against the Chiefs. But when you face a younger quarterback, is there more priority on putting him in danger, third and longs, creating turnovers? Yeah, I, not even a younger player. I, I think it just goes to all quarterbacks. Um, third down is a money down. And, um, as a defense, uh, we got to get off the field, right? So I think the main priority is obviously sending pressure, but also getting him rattled, um, throwing off timing um, with some read steps that he probably read uh, consistently on third down, throwing off that timing and focusing on what's the vocal point for them on third down, like who is their key targets, um, who they want to go to, different concepts and eliminating that uh, as a defense. So. How, how eager are you to get the first pick of the season? What'd you say? How eager are you to get the first interception of the season? Very eager, man. Um, you can see um, there's a lot of motivation around Kareem already got to. So, you know, I got some catching up to do. But, um, yeah, I'm very eager, but I know uh, those opportunities are going to come as long as I do my job and I'm in the right position. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, we talk some at the Pro Bowl. Um, we communicate sometimes, you know, on the phone, through social media. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. I mean, I know the media would try to make it a rivalry, but, you know, in general, um, we cool. You know what I mean? Ain't no rivalry going on, so. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's – um, that's a word that's going around me and him. But, you know, I don't try to get too much involved in that. You know, I'm just focused on winning this game. You know what I mean? It's a big game for us. And, you know, for us to create momentum, this is a big game for us. What do you think of facing the offense of Nathaniel Hackett? Um, it's going to be great. Um, <laughs> obviously, it's basically like training camp last year, going against his offense and um, competing, but on a bigger stage, obviously. But, um, you know what I mean? They got a great offense. You know, they got a great game plan, which you got to come out striking, you know what I mean? So um, I think the biggest thing with us is uh, focusing on what they like to do um, down and distance wise, and obviously focusing on the game plan from the uh, start of the game to the finish. When, when you watch it, does it on film, does it look familiar with what you saw basically out here? Yeah, yeah, um, definitely. It's, it's a lot of concepts that's involved that I've seen last year, um, how they prioritize certain players uh, throughout their game plan. Um, it's pretty familiar uh, when you see it on film, so nothing different. Uh, Pat, I was curious. Like, how, how much do you look into like what other quarterbacks in the league are doing? Do you, are you try to take like parts of their game and try to mm -hmm. see how you can incorporate it in your own? Yeah, man. I mean, there's a lot of great corners in the league, um, and then there's guys that's very underrated that I look at around the league. And um, you know, I just, I just, I definitely, you know, get a hone and get a key on their game, and sort of see what they do well, and. Um, you know, look at that, you know what I mean? Because there's ways I'm I'm always looking to improve. And, you know, when you see corners at a high level, you can always um, look at some from them that they do well and sort of, you know, implement that into your game. 
um, that's the best thing about the league. You know what I mean? There's just so many great players you can study and key on, you know what I mean? Just learn from them. So. Thoughts on wearing the, the snow-capped helmet and the orange rush uniform? Oh, yeah, it's going to be clean. Everybody's going to be looking out there clean, man. Um, I wish we could wear them even more, though, <laughs> just by the first look of them um, out there today. Um, it looks very clean. Uh, the all-white helmets and the jerseys are going to make it uh, look even better. So um, I can't wait. I'm excited for it.